Redbridge High School is an SEN or special educational needs school for children who have various types of disabilities. Students at Redbridge High School range in age from 11 years to 19 years and also have a wide range of disabilities spanning from moderate to severe. Because of the vast differences in each student and his or her disabilities, the topic that I learned more in depth about was accommodating each child based on their needs and not giving an overarching solution for a general population of students. From Redbridge staff, I learned that there are a number of different accommodations outside of the classroom that can be made to help the students succeed. At Redbridge High School, these accommodations include adjustable tabletops and counters in the kitchen so that all students can reach the workspaces, individual timetables or schedules that have symbols specific to each student, directions or rules that are both written out in words and have supplementary pictures, and short breaks throughout the day to provide relief for both staff and students. Along with finding the specific accommodations that help each student become successful both inside and outside of the classroom, the staff at Redbridge demonstrated a supportive, tight-knit network. When we saw different students and staff as we toured the school, everyone said hello to each other and addressed each other by name. Students were able to identify staff and staff members were able to identify students all by name. To me, this reinforced ideas exhibited at Lebanon Valley such as students should be a name, not a number, and students should feel comfortable within the school and the classroom. Another idea that Redbridge staff expanded upon is the belief of tailoring education to meet the needs of the whole child. I learned from the high school just how many ways a school can work to meet the various needs of all children. Each week, Students from different classes are able to receive a self-esteem boost during the weekly meeting. A different class is able to share with the rest of the school what they have been working on during the weekly school-wide assembly. Also at this assembly, some sign language is both used and taught so all students and staff can participate and communicate better. Along with school-wide performance boosts, Redbridge High School provides an extensive multi-sensory room where classes can spend time relaxing and allowing all of their senses to be satisfied. In conjunction with the multi-sensory room, the school also provides the students with an outdoor area to spend time in. This area is known as the sensory garden. Here, there are a number of opportunities for children to smell, see, hear, and touch different objects outdoors. When in need of physical help, Students could also spend time with the school physiotherapist in either the physiotherapy room or in the physiotherapy pool, where they could work on motor skills and stretching out their bodies. However, when the students are in the classrooms, they are provided with up-to-date technology, such as smart boards, which can help them become successful in the technologically driven world once they graduate. Student success was also based on the teacher and aid to student ratio. Unlike the United States schools, Redbridge had at least one teacher and one aide in each room, if not more. Many of the students required one-on-one -on -one aides, or the ratio for students to teachers or aides needed to be increased due to increasingly demanding schedules and needs of the students. And finally, the students are given the opportunity to showcase their artistic talents. Redbridge High School puts on a yearly play that is run mainly by the students and supported by teachers and staff. This provides the students with a creative outlet. This school truly demonstrated the philosophies of meeting the needs of the whole child and meeting the needs of every child. At the end of our time there, Redbridge High School left me with a fulfilled vision of finally seeing that all types of students can be accommodated in the educational system and all students can learn and be successful.